G'day, Blay Dickheads. Vaping Bogan back again for another Best Ofs 2022. I think this is going to be the last one. I think this is the final category that I haven't really covered, and that is RTAs, or Rebuildable Tank Atomizers. Like some of the other sort of categories, we've had less of these than previous years. I think the Boro scene really sort of just took a lot of uh, the company's sort of time and interests. But uh, we did have quite a few, and uh, narrowed it down to uh, a half dozen. No particular order here. This is just sort of a selection of different sort of styles of your uh, RTAs uh, in different sort of, uh, you know, sizes and coil amounts, some single coils, some dual coils, some big boys, some MTLs. And uh, yeah, this is what I thought were the sort of the pick of the litter. There's probably a bunch that I didn't get to review. It didn't get sent. There's a couple of RTAs that I did actually get sent. We did do builds on them in the live build streams, and I just never got around to reviewing them. Maybe because they just weren't that exceptional. If something is definitely worth you hearing about, then I'll get a review out on it. But there was a few RTAs that uh, I just didn't get to. It just ran out of time. That's, that's just how it fucking goes. But uh, of the stuff that I did review, uh, yeah, this is what I fucking thought was pretty good. If your favourite isn't in here, well, go and tell someone who cares. <laughs> this is just my opinion. And I'm sure there's some tanks that I didn't get, so obviously uh, can't give me fucking thoughts on them. But anyway, let's fucking get into it. The best RTAs of last year. The Dead Rabbit V3 RTA, generally not uh, something you'll find in me uh, best ofs, the Dead Rabbits. They're not bad, but they've never been sort of amazing in my opinion. Uh, but the Dead Rabbit V3 RTA kind of stepped away from the traditional Dead Rabbit design. The post's completely different and none of that fucking bullshit top-down airflow, which is just shit for flavour. It is still a top airflow RTA, which we saw quite a lot of uh, last year. Seems to be a bit of a trend in the RTA scene, but they managed to get the air down the side of the fucking deck and getting it underneath the coil and also from the side, and it had some great fucking flavour, much better than the previous uh, Dead Rabbit V1 and V2 RTAs. This one was fucking tasty, and for a top airflow RTA, loads and loads of airflow, just shitloads. One of the airiest top airflow RTAs uh, I think I've ever had. So if you like your airflow in your RTAs, if you want big airy drawers, but you want something that gets the air from the top so it's less likely to leak, well, the uh, the Dead Rabbit V3, definitely worth checking out. I also thought it was uh, sort of pretty decent looking. I kind of liked it. Still had the old Dead Rabbit written on the side there, which is uh, <laughs> not necessary. But uh, apart from that, that, I thought it was pretty good looking and uh, yeah, a really, really well performing top airflow dual coil. Forgot to mention that. It is a dual coil top airflow RTA and had uh, pretty decent capacity as well. Uh, just a few of the things that I liked about it, along with, as I said, the fucking flavor. Anyway, we're waffling about the wabbit. Let's kill it off. Sticking with the dual coil sort of regular or medium sized RTAs, we've got the Eclipse Jewel from Mr. Mike Vapes and uh, Yacht Vape. Funny name for a vape company. I guess they're into boating. Uh, but they did the Eclipse, which was a single coil, and then uh, last year they brought us the Jewel, which is, yeah, basically the same deck, um, very similar aesthetics, but it takes dual coils. And i got to say, for something that is just a straight-up side airflow dual coil RTA, this thing had some fucking banging flavour. I really liked the look of it as well. thought it was very clean, very minimal. I liked the lines they did around it. And it was just a, a straight-up, nothing, no bells or whistles, nothing fucking crazy, side airflow, as I said, dual coil, air's coming in through the bottom, but it was smooth, it was tasty, it wasn't too big, it had a pretty fucking decent capacity for, uh, you know, an RTA, and uh, yeah, it just sort of ticked all the boxes that you want for, uh, you know, your, your regular run-of-the-mill dual coil tank. So yeah, the Eclipse Jewel makes it into the best ofs. Stepping things up in size, we've got the 30 millimeter Fatality from QP Design. Now we had the, uh, the M25 originally, then we had the 28. Uh, we had a few single coils and other things from QP, but uh, they gave us a big boy, a big 30 millimeter variation of the Fatality tank. It's basically the same deck as they did on the 28 and, uh, and previously. Really nice undercoil and side airflow but just more fucking deck space you could put big 3.5s probably even maybe four millimeter uh, coils in there i had some 3.5s 
and uh, this thing fucking rocked. It had uh, loads of clouds, loads of airflow, and loads of fucking flavor. Has that same uh, dual airflow system, so you can control the airflow that comes out underneath your coil uh, on the side and from below via the two airflow control rings, sort of the uh, sort of unique uh, design that uh, the Fatalities have all had. And yeah, really nice. This has got the uh, Ultim uh, kit on it, the Ultim drip tip with the Ultim tank section. I think the stock version uh, just came with glass and a clear tip, but uh, quite like the uh, the black and uh, orangey Ultim. So yeah, if you're looking for a big fuck off RTA, a big 30 millimeter uh, can puncher, then uh, yeah, the Fatality 30 was uh, definitely worth checking out. As I said, we had a bit of a top airflow theme last year in the RTA market. Uh, this is the Valkyrie Mini from Vapors Cloud, obviously following on from the full-size Valkyrie. This was a single coil, but a big single coil. It wasn't your little pissant fucking 2.5 millimeter jobby. You want to put a nice sort of 3, 3.5. I think I had a 3.5 millimeter uh, coil in here. And uh, yeah, had that top-down airflow honeycomb design, so very smooth, but it got it down and it uh, came out uh, on the sides of the coil. Very, very tasty, very flavoursome. I think it's a really nice-looking RTA as well. Uh, there were a few people I saw in the comments saying that they had trouble wicking theirs. They had a few leaks or whatever, or gurgling. I'm no fuckwit, so I uh, never had any of those issues. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Uh, if you were struggling with it, just put more cotton. It's a simple rule of any RTA. If you're getting too much liquid to your coil and it's leaking or gurgling, well, just put more fucking cotton. It had a big juice well, a very, very uh, roomy juice well. So I definitely liked a larger coil. I reckon you want at least a 3.5 in here just to give you enough cotton. But yeah, I love this thing. Thought it was fantastic on the flavor. Nice big banging single coil RTA. Uh, and as I said, looks real nice. And the build quality, top fucking notch. So yeah, the Valkyrie mini from Vapors Cloud. Moving up in price but down in size, uh, this is the Edge RTA from Steam Tuners made in Greece. Now this is technically not an RTA from 2022. It came out I think the year before, 2021, but uh, I managed to pick one up last year. So I was a bit late to the party, but uh, i tell you what, I certainly enjoyed myself. It's uh, a fantastic sort of restricted direct lung slash mouth to lung RTA. I just fucking love this thing. Really nice and small, beautiful build quality from the Greeks and the flavor just fan fucking tastic. I used this heavily and still do. Just a, a really nice example of a premium sort of uh, engineering and uh, build quality as well as great design if you're into your european sort of slightly more pricey but a little bit more nicey uh, rtas then uh, the edge is definitely very very nice love that sort of bell cap design there with the uh, the top cap and the window once you get a bit of liquid in there it uh, it gets really crystal clear and it just looks great super clean as i said the flavor fantastic and uh yeah as much as i am a fucking bogan i do like a few of the finer things in life and the build quality and uh, machine Machining on this was just super fucking nice. Uh, I put this up there with the K-Funds, uh, some of my favorite RTAs to this day, the old K-Fund Lite um, and the K-Fund Prime. This is obviously uh, a bit more dainty, a bit more small than something like the Prime. But yeah, if you're a fan of the, uh, the K-Fund Lite 2020, 2021, uh, then uh, this little rugger, the uh, Edge RTA from Steam Tuners, very, very nice and uh, worth the fucking extra dosh if you appreciate that sort of stuff. And to round things out, something from Monarchy over in Poland. I'm not going to say it's my favourite RTA from last year, but it's certainly in the top two or three. This is the J3 S2 or the Jizz. I think as Nick affectionately named it, quite like that, the Jizz. Uh, I really love this thing. Again, like the Edge, it's geared towards your sort of more lower wattage vaping, your restricted direct lung or your mouth to lung. I found the flavor to be exceptional. And uh, as always with Monarchy products, very, very high quality on the build. Uh, just a really nice looking one as well. I was lucky enough to get sent a second version in titanium with this lovely rainbow fucking finish on it and the uh, the duck bill drip tip which uh, i'm sure a bunch of people think is ridiculous but <laughs> i quite liked uh, that that duck bill tip that they did for them and as i said 
the flavor off of these things is just fantastic. I found them very easy to wick. Uh, it's got a juice flow control thing, which was very handy. When I traveled overseas, I took this with me. When I went to the UK last year, it was a great travel companion being able to close off that juice flow so I didn't have to worry about the air pressure in the aeroplanes, fucking sending juice uh, all through me bloody uh, deck. Just a brilliant design, well executed, and uh, very, very well performing RTA from Monarchy. The J3S2, or the Jizz. So there you go, dickheads, a bit of a mixed bag there. Some big stuff, some small stuff, some cheap stuff, and some more premium stuff. But uh, we had some good stuff uh, last year in the RTA department. I don't think RTAs ever kind of die off. Uh, they're kind of always there at a, a pretty consistent rate, maybe a few less last year than, uh, than previously, but um, always a, a pretty staple product in uh, the sort of arsenal of vaping products that we have to choose from. So I'm sure we'll have, uh, well, we've already had, you've probably seen a few of the reviews <laughs> on some RTAs from uh, 2023 already, and uh, we'll see plenty more of them over the next sort of 10 months or so. So uh, stay tuned, dickheads. I'll be uh, here and doing my best to give you me thoughts on them. Um, but uh, until then, dickheads, sub on me fucking dicks off or your bloody tits off. I couldn't give a shit what it is you're vaping on, whether it's an RTA, an RDA, mouth to lung, direct lung, maybe it's a fucking pod. Doesn't fucking matter. As long as you're not banging the bloody bungers, that's what counts. Cheers for tuning in. Cheery fucking eh. <laughs>